best defense against cancer, both its occurrence and recurrence, is to maintain optimum immunity. This is a very interesting realization that we can have on the road to our healing. The fact that our body is a self-healing system. Nature has designed us to be healthy. We have an inbuilt immune system that is fully capable of keeping us in health. In fact, our bodies routinely produce cellular mutations that can turn cancerous. And yet, we do not all develop cancer. And that's because the immune system knows how to track these, capture them, and flush them out. So cancer can only take hold if for some reason our immune system has malfunctioned. And the immune system malfunctions or breaks down under something called stress. Yes, stress. It's a very simple word, but actually very complex. Because that which stresses you can come from many levels. You can have physical stressors emotional, mental, systemic, even spiritual stressors. So if we can discover what is it that is stressing us and we can weed those stressors out of our life, then our immune system knows how to automatically kick back and do what it's supposed to do, which is keep us in health. There is a science that understands this link between stress and illness. And this science is called psychoneuroimmunology. Basically understands that your psychology, that is your thoughts and your emotions and your feelings, affect your immunology. And how do they do that? When you have stressful feelings and emotions, your brain releases these biochemicals, they are called neurotransmitters, and they are transferred through the bloodstream into the rest of the body. And your immune system picks these up and interprets it as if there is a threat upon your body-mind. And so the immune system launches an immune response. In trying to fight this perceived threat upon the body-mind, the immune system has effectively got distracted from doing what it should normally be doing, which is protecting the body from real threat, as well as going about the normal, everyday repair of the wear and tear that the body goes through. So when the immune system has been overused for no reason at all, it starts malfunctioning. And it opens you up, therefore, makes you more susceptible to disease. Psychoneuroimmunology is the proof of the body-mind connection. It is the proof that your body and mind are not two separate entities. Indeed, they are one. And that is why, in modern terms, they're actually called the body-mind. And so you understand how stress in your mind can lead to illness in your body.